Thank you guys. Um, unbelievable. First off, I want to thank all you guys who have been just, I mean, all the support over the years and all the messages. When I had that first race and I, um, I, things didn't go the way that I wanted, you guys got to see my emotion. And I know you guys were all crying, even you gentlemen. And, uh, and just the messages that I got to help pick me up and make sure that I was ready for that race two days later. It would have been an absolute shame had I let that disappointment affect that race. And a lot of that is owed to you guys who have been supporting me for so many years. Ski Brule, thank you guys for giving me a spot to fall in love with the sport. It's been awesome and to see that how much work they put in to be able to give me this and allow me to train, it's been awesome. Supporting me over all the years and uh, all my sponsors. Chris Doyle jumping on board and just making sure that when I went to the Olympics, I didn't have to worry about paying my bills back home. I didn't need to worry about things like that. I needed to worry about bringing the medal back home and bringing that gold we did. And you guys, this doesn't happen without all the support. All my sponsors. All my sponsors. Ponzi North America has been supporting me for years as well. American Pavement Solutions out of Green Bay jumped in just before the Olympics as well. And it's, it's, it's this kind of support that has allowed me. I'm a professional snowboarder, you guys. I don't, I'm not a professional football player. I don't make a lot of money. So the help that these gentlemen have been able to give me and just the support of the community is the only reason I've been able to accomplish this dream. 17 years. And uh, I know there's been a lot of support, but there's been a lot that questioned whether I could do it or not. And I just want to say to you guys, um, I thank you just as much as the people that supported me because you pushed me to work harder and to prove everyone wrong, the ones that didn't believe in me. And now it's just awesome to see that we can use this story. And you guys have seen I went school to school. I've only been home less than a month and uh, I still made it to 22 schools. And I just want to share how important it is to me. I have an expiration date in my snowboarding. I know that, at, at least at the level that I'm at. And I know the kids are the future. And um, I owe that. And, and you guys wonder why I take the time and I go to do this. It's because of my dad, my mom, my family, just the wonderful people here in the UP that have helped shape me to who I am. So I know I used to be a troublemaker, but we're making up for that and we're gonna to try to use this story to help inspire more stories like this out of the Upper Peninsula. And I know we're capable of it. These kids don't get the same opportunities as big city kids, but one thing they do get is they learn that grit and that work ethic of being a youper because we have to fight harder for what we want. We don't believe the excuses and we go out there and we get what we want. And who would have thought a plastic snowboard in 1990 would have turned into a gold medal. And we brought it right back here to Ski Brule. Thank you guys for all the help, all the support. I love you guys. And hey, if you message me on Facebook and you're wondering why that big jerk, if he's too cool now that he's got his gold medal, I haven't gotten to any of the Facebook messages yet. But I will, I will read them. And uh, if I reply back, you don't have to reply back because then I'll be back at square one with another thousand <laughs> messages. But understand, I will read them all and I appreciate every single one of them and every single one of you guys. Thank you very much. Woo!